Hey, Owen here from Guitar Mastery Method. The four guitar finger exercises that I'm going to show you today will allow you to play cleaner. They'll sync up your picking hand and your fretting hand. You can play faster and they will allow you to practice for longer with less hand and arm fatigue. Sounds pretty good, right? Let's get into it. First of all, check the description box down below for your free PDF download. This is reference material for this lesson and you're going to need it to get the most out of this lesson. Do you ever find when you're playing the guitar that your picking hand and your fretting hand just get out of sync with each other? Or do you find that when you're playing some chords or lead lines that your fingers just won't stretch to reach the notes that you need them to? Like any part of your body, any muscle in your body, your fingers, your wrists and your forearm are muscles that can be trained to be more accurate and stretch further and have more strength. What we're doing today is I'm going to show you four great finger guitar exercises that are used by all the great guitarists. We're going to do two off the guitar and two on the guitar. And these are really going to make a massive difference to your ability to stretch, your sinking of your picking and your fretting hand, and your ability to practice for longer with less fatigue. All right, let's get started with our two off guitar exercises. Our first exercise is called the trill exercise. For our first off guitar exercise, place your hand on a table or other flat surface with your middle and ring finger tucked into your palm. Trill your little finger up and down on the table, moving it further away from your index finger as you do this, then bringing it back. So just lifting it off and placing it back down nice and fast. Do this for 30 to 60 seconds and then rest. Shake your hand out, rest for about 30 seconds and then repeat. You wanna do this four times on each hand. Thirty to sixty seconds each repetition, four times on each hand. So that was our first off guitar exercise, the trill exercise. Really good for improving the stretch in your fingers, which is going to come in handy for playing some of those bigger chords or those stretchier lead lines. Exercise number two off the guitar is a stretch for our wrists and our forearms. This is an area that, of course, can get a lot of tension and fatigue when we're practicing for longer periods of time. So this stretch is really gonna help with that. What you wanna do, take your hands, place them together in front of you. Make sure the bottoms of your palm are in contact with each other. Now with our elbows out to the side a little bit, we want to just bring the bottom of the palms down towards the floor and make sure the base of your palms stay in contact with each other. You're going to hold this for 15 to 20 seconds and just release it. Give your hands a bit of a shake. Always a good idea between stretches just to shake out your hands, get the blood into them. One thing that I really do want to point out is that with these stretches, you will feel some stretching and it will be a little bit uncomfortable at times, but you should never feel any pain. If you do feel pain, stop straight away. If you've got maybe a bowl with some warm water in it, put your hands in that just to relax all the muscles and the joints a little bit. If you have ongoing pain, then do consult a medical professional. All right, so you've done the stretch, 15 to 20 seconds, giving your hands and wrists a bit of a shake. We're gonna do the same thing again, but we're gonna make it a little bit more advanced this time. So bring it down. And then what we want to do is move laterally 
to one side. So we'll start by going to the left, and you'll start to feel this a lot through the wrists and the forearms. 15 to 20 seconds on that side, back to the center, and then do the same to the right hand side for 15 to 20 seconds. And I'm feeling that in my wrist right now, so it's a really good stretch. And back to the center, and then just shake it out. So that's just two of the stretches that you can do to really help improve your fingers, your wrists, and your forearms. There's a whole lot more stretches and exercises and warm-ups that you can do to really help off the guitar. And we have got entire courses where we cover this. So do check out the Guitar Mastery Method website and sign up for one of those courses and you'll see a whole lot more stretches and warm-ups that you can do off the guitar, as well as a lot of exercises on the guitar that are really going to help. Speaking of guitars... I'm going to grab my guitar now and we'll go through two on guitar exercises which are really going to help especially with syncing up your picking and your fretting hand. All right here's a guitar that I prepared earlier so we're going to do two exercises on the guitar which are really going to help syncing up your picking hand your fretting hand and building up some more dexterity and strength in those fretting hand fingers. Exercise number one on the guitar is a hammer-on pull-off exercise. So we'll take this as hammer-ons first and then we'll do the pull-off section. Let me play the very first part for you and then I'll break down what we're doing. First part of this exercise, we're working on our first and second fingers with our fretting hand and we're playing the first and second fret, hammering on across all the strings. So, we start off by using our first finger on the first fret of the low E string. We're going to pick that note. And then with our second finger, we're going to hammer on to the second fret. The trick to getting a good hammer on is velocity. It's not about how hard you hammer on to the string. It's just about getting some speed and getting that finger down quickly into the fret. So, pick the first note, hammer on the second. First finger, second finger, first fret, second fret. We're doing this across all six strings. So, after doing first fret, second fret of the E string, we move down to the A string. First fret, first finger, hammer on to the second fret with our second finger. So, picking that first note and hammering on the second note. Then we move down to the D string, first finger, first fret, pick that note, hammer on, second finger, second fret. So far we're simply doing first fret to second fret on the low E, same on the A, same on the D. Nothing changes when we get to the G, it's first finger, first fret, pick that note, hammer on to the second fret with our second finger, move down to the B string, first fret, first finger, pick the note, hammer on to the second fret with our second finger, then on the high E string, first fret, pick that, first finger, hammer on, second finger to the second fret. And then we do the same thing, just going back the other way, so all hammer-ons again, so we play first fret, first finger on the high E string, pick the note, hammer on to the second fret with our second finger. B string, exactly the same, first fret, hammer on to second. G, first, second, hammer on. D string, remember first finger, second finger, hammer on. A string, first fret, second fret, hammer on. Then finishing off, first finger, First fret of the low E string, pick the note, hammer on to the second fret with our second finger. This one isn't a race, so you don't have to play it super fast. 
It's just about getting the fingers moving, getting those hammer-ons happening, making sure it's nicely in time. So you will want to play this to a metronome. The next part of the exercise is to do the same kind of thing, but we're using our second and third fingers on the second and third fret. So once again, description box, grab that free PDF download. It's got tabs for all this. It'll show you which fingers to use, which frets to play, and on which string. So make sure you download and print out that PDF. So this part of the exercise is second and third finger. So it's exactly the same as the first part. We're just using our second and third finger on the second and third fret. So on the low E string, we pick the second fret, which is our second finger, and hammer on to the third fret with our third finger. Same on the A, second fret, hammer on to third. D string, second fret to third fret. On the G, exactly the same, second fret to third fret with our second and third fingers. B string, pick that first note, second fret, second finger, hammer on, third fret, third finger. And high E string, second fret, hammer on to third fret. And then bring it back the other way, second fret, hammer on to third on the high E string, with our second and third fingers, down to the B, second to third, on the G, second to third fret, hammer on, D string, second fret, Pick that note, hammer on to the third fret. A string, exactly the same, second to third. And on the low E string, second fret, second finger, pick the note, hammer on with our third finger to the third fret. And then, you guessed it, we're going to play the same thing with our third and fourth fingers on the 3rd and 4th frets. So we start off on the low E string, picking that note, 3rd fret with our 3rd finger, hammer on to the 4th fret with our 4th finger. Down to the A string, 3rd fret to 4th fret, hammer on. D string, 3rd to 4th. On the G, remember 3rd finger to 4th finger, 3rd fret to 4th fret. Same on the B, 3rd fret, 4th fret, hammer on. High E string, 3rd fret to 4th fret, hammer on. And bring it back the other way, 3rd fret to 4th fret. B string, 3rd to 4th. G, 3rd to 4th. D, 3rd to 4th. A string, 3rd to 4th. And finish it all off by the low E string, 3rd fret, 3rd finger. Pick the note, hammer on to the 4th fret with our 4th finger. So this is really going to work our fingers out and it's going to build up some independence between our fingers. You may find, as a lot of people do, that sometimes when you put a finger down onto a fret, your other fingers just want to stick with them. This exercise really helps to build up that independence in your fingers. After we've played this whole thing, which I'm going to do for you now, We then turn it into a pull-off exercise. So same fingers, the same sequences on the same strings, same frets, just the other way around. So let me show you what I mean. The second part of this exercise starts off by playing the second fret on the low E string with our second finger, picking that note, and then we're going to pull off to the first fret where our first finger is waiting. 
The trick to a good pull-off is to pluck the string as if it was a pick. So if I magically had a pick implanted in my finger there, I'd be using the same technique as picking the string, just plucking it with my second finger there. So, second finger, second fret, low E string. Pick the note, pull off to the first fret of the low E string where our first finger is. Then we're going to do that down and up the strings. So we move on to the A string, second fret, second finger, pick the note, pull off to the first fret, first finger. Same on the D, second to first, on the G, second to first, on the B, second to first pull off, and on the high E string, second fret to first fret, pull off. Then do the whole thing back the other way. We then move on to our next set of fingers, our second and third finger. We're going to play third fret on the low E string with our third finger, pick that note, and pull off to the second fret, second finger, low E string. And then do that across all the strings, third to second, third to second on the D, third to second on the G, third to second on the B, third to second on the E. And turn it around, come back the other way, on the high E string, 3rd fret to 2nd fret, 3rd finger to 2nd finger pull off, B string, 3rd to 2nd, G, 3rd to 2nd, D, 3rd to 2nd, A, 3rd to 2nd, and then finally on the low E string, pick the 3rd fret, pull off to the 2nd fret. Alright, you know the drill now, 3rd and 4th finger. Start by playing... 4th finger, 4th fret of the low E string, pick that note and pull off to the 3rd fret where our 3rd finger is waiting. And we're doing that across all the strings. On the A string, 4th to 3rd, pull off. D string, 4th, pull off to 3rd. G, 4 to 3. D, 4th to 3rd. High E string, 4th to 3rd. And bring it back the other way. 4th to 3rd on the high E, on the B, 4th to 3rd, on the G, 4th finger, pull off, 3rd finger, on the D string, 4th fret to 3rd fret pull off, same on the A string, 4th to 3rd, and finally on the low E, 4th to 3rd. So, once through the hammer-ons, all 4 fingers, and 3 sets of 2, and then the pull-offs. Let me play the whole thing for you in its entirety. Play it nice and slow. And remember, you want to play this as slowly as you need to to get every note nice and clean, get those hammer-on sounding good, get those pull-offs sounding good, and playing in time. Alright, so remember, after doing this, give your hands a little bit of a shake, get the blood flow going through them, it'll really help just to relax everything in your hands. And we're going to get into on guitar exercise number two, which is of course our fourth guitar finger exercise for today. This one is known as the spider exercise. Let me play it for you and then I'll break it down.
So this spider exercise is a variation of the chromatic scale. The chromatic scale being one of the very best exercises that you can do to sync up your picking hand and your fretting hand. If we were playing the straight chromatic scale, we would play fifth fret with our first finger, sixth fret with our second finger, seventh fret with our third finger, eighth fret with our little finger. And we do that across all the strings. What we're doing, just to activate our brain a little bit more and get our fingers jumping around a bit to build up that independence and that synchronization between our picking hand and our fretting hand, we're breaking it up a little bit. So we start off by playing the first finger on the fifth fret of the low E string, seventh fret of the low E string with our third finger, then we go to the sixth fret with our second finger, and to the eighth fret with our fourth finger, low E string. And with our picking hand, we're doing strict alternate picking. So down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up. We then play this same pattern all the way down the strings. So, play the low E string, we go to the A string. 5th fret, 7th fret, 6th fret, 8th fret. 1st finger, 3rd finger, 2nd finger, 4th finger. And down, up, down, up, picking. We then move to the D string, play 5th fret, 1st finger, 3rd finger on the 7th fret, 2nd finger, 6th fret, 4th finger, 8th fret. So far, we've played this. We then finish off by playing the higher 3 strings with exactly the same pattern. So on the G, 5th fret, 7th fret, 6th fret, 8th fret. Onto the B string, 1st finger, 3rd finger, 2nd finger, 4th finger. Whichever way works best for you to remember it, if you think of which finger you're playing or which fret you're playing, that's totally fine. Just get this pattern stuck in your head and into your fingers. On the high E string we finish it off, 5th fret, 1st finger, 3rd finger on the 7th fret, 2nd finger, 6th fret, and 4th finger on the 8th fret. What we're going to do now is turn this around and play it in a different way on the way back down. So this is really going to get your brain activating, get your fingers doing something you're not quite expecting, which is a very good thing for making them do what you want them to do. We then come back down, starting off at the 8th fret with our 4th finger on the high E string. We go to the 6th fret with our 2nd finger, 7th fret with our 3rd finger, and our 1st finger on the 5th fret. So that pattern again, coming back down, 4th finger, 2nd finger, 3rd finger, 1st finger. We then do that across all the rest of the 6 strings we have available to us. So we go to the B string, play the 8th fret, 6th fret, 7th fret, 5th fret. Down to the G, 8th fret with our 4th finger, 2nd finger on the 6th fret, 3rd finger on the 7th fret, and 1st finger on the 5th fret. Same on the D string, 8th fret, 6th fret, 7th fret, 5th fret. Down to the A string, 8th fret, 6th fret, 7th fret, 5th fret. And then we finish it all off on the low E string, 4th fingers, 2nd finger, Third finger, first finger. Down, up, picking for the whole thing. 
Let me just play through that whole exercise again slowly for you. Alright, so that's four guitar finger exercises that are used by every great guitarist. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. If you could please click the subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell icon, and you'll be notified of our new videos as soon as they come out. So do that now. Go hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Let's just go back over what we did today. First off, we had two off guitar exercises. We had the trill exercise. Don't have my table here, but if we were to do it on the guitar, it would look like that. Secondly, we had stretch, hands out in front of us, bring it down, moving to the side. Remember, do this in two stages, so 15 to 20 seconds, shake it out, bit of a rest, 20 to 30 second rest. Bring it back down and move it to the side, hold 15 to 20 seconds, and the same to the right hand side. Bring it back in, shake it all out. We then of course had our hammer on pull off exercise. and our spider exercise. So these two off guitar exercises, you can do any time, any place, as often as you like. The on guitar exercises, Try and do these every time you pick up your guitar to practice. They'll really help with that synchronization between your picking and fretting hand and building up the strength and dexterity in your fretting hand fingers. What's your number one guitar progress killer? Our free 30 second quiz will find and fix the biggest roadblock to your guitar playing. Click the link in the description box down below and get your free customized training today. See you in the next lesson.